Hey everyone in YouTube land, this is 707 and today I'm going to show you how to take this, which is a transmitter pack that is a 3S, and turn it into one of those, which is a transmitter pack, which is a 2S. Now, of course, I got excited and uh, in the Hobby King sale, I saw, hey, transmitter pack, that's going to probably fit my radio really well. This is uh, for my car transmitter, but you could do this for any type of uh, uh, 3S battery. Uh, but I, of course, um, didn't see that it was 3S, so I'm, I had to make it into a 2S. So basically what I did is I took out one of the cells and rewired it, and now it's a 1,666 milliamp 2S pack instead of a 2,500 milliamp 3S pack. What I'm going to do now is just take this pack apart and show you how I made this pack. All right, guys, so one of the reasons I wanted to do this is because the 4AA battery tray that goes to the bottom of my radio was getting annoying. I was running out of batteries quite quickly, so I decided to make myself up this pack. Uh, obviously, I tried to buy this pack, and even if this was a 2S, it wouldn't fit in the bottom of this because it's too thick. So this little um, 1666 uh, that I made is going to fit right in there, and all I do is plug the leads in and tuck the wires. So what I need to um, transform this into this is obviously uh, an X-Acto knife, some solder, some good cutters, and of course your soldering iron. Um, it's going to be really easy because we're just going to be taking off one cell, and the cells in the inside are going to look like this. I just marked this one um, because it's 833 times 3 makes 2500, so that makes this a 1666. Um, so, uh, first thing you're going to do is just peel off the outside here. This is not a project that you want to undertake if you are not knowledgeable about lipos. This is a very serious fire hazard. You can have a serious fire if you happen to short circuit some of these uh, cells here because these are these have a lot of uh, potential in the inside of them and they will uh, burn your house down if you're not careful. As you can see, I'm doing this on a concrete slab and I also have over here a uh, bag of sand in case I happen to short circuit something and the uh, cells uh, go off on a tangent. Now this is plastic. Uh, outer coating you're going to, going to want to remove and and hold this off to the side because we're going to reuse this again. These um, high temperature tapes here, we're just going to take these off and set these aside because we're going to use these again as well. And there's also these little foam pieces here. You can take uh, these foam pieces out in case you don't want to use these as well. And this comes with two different uh, uh, power leads here. So I actually just cut off the secondary one. I'm going to use the servo lead version of this. It's nice that they ha include this in there, but I don't need this secondary one. So I'm just going to clip this secondary one off so it's not confusing. Because everyone's like, well, there's a lot of wires hanging out of there. So just be careful not to short circuit anything. So this is the lead that I don't need. I don't need this type of lead. And what we're going to do here is we're going to just show you a close-up spot right here so you can see exactly what spot uh, all the wires are going to. We're going to leave the positive lead, the yellow lead, and we're going to uh, swap out this white for the black, and we're going to remove the black wire from this last cell. We're going to remove this last cell it's being it's attached uh, in between here and here. These two, the middle cell and this cell, are attached right here. And there's a little bit of glue that holds the pack together. So you can actually slide a little spatula in between here, so you don't flex the pack. So I'm just going to go ahead and flex these and and get these two uh, guys apart here. I might need that spatula after all. Oh, there we go. Okay, so if you just pull gently, you can start to hear it come apart just like that. And I'm going to go ahead and cut this lead right down here. I want to leave a little bit of a tail there, so in case I want to use this cell for something else, or if I want to make another 2S pack, I can put these two cells together, I can wire them together, and get everything uh, soldered up properly. So I'm going to go ahead and clip this cell here. So that cell is now off the pack, and let me go ahead and desolder um, this lead right here. There we go. Lead is off, and here is the single cell that we don't need anymore. Um, I, you know, so this was the negative lead, so this is negative. I'm going to mark that, and this is positive over here, so I'll just put a little positive there and negative there. So now I have, since I bought two of these batteries, so I have two spares, so I can make another cell if I want to. If some, 
All I'm going to do now is I'm going to wire this black lead to where the white is here. I'm going to remove this white wire and put the black one there. All right, guys. So I don't want the white wire to be uh, on the last terminal here. So I'm just going to remove the white wire from this balance lead here. Okay, so white wires coming out here. So these are a bit of a pain. What I found that uh, easy, uh, what what I found uh, to take this white wire out of here is to push it forward that way, as far as it'll go, and then you're gonna push in the little tab, and then. All right, all right. So I've removed the white lead. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna actually instead of moving these two over, I'm gonna move the black one over one, and then cut off this side of this uh, balance lead here. It's not gonna make a difference either way. Okay, guys. Uh, yay, we got this uh, this black lead out of here. I'm just gonna move it from the outside to the inside one here. I'm gonna snap that in. Now I'm gonna cut off the outside row here since this is now a 2s instead of a 3s so all we have to do at this point is solder the black to this terminal here along with the black for the, our power lead so i'm going to cut this to length here so it's nice and flush so i'm going to clip it right there and get my wire stripper here. I'm just going to pretend that real quick. There we go. All right. So let's check the voltage of this pack real quick. So each cell, so I've got 1S, 2S, and total is 7.5. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and charge this up and get it ready. I'm going to give this off to a buddy of mine since I have extras now. Anyway, that is how you do it. Um, let's just uh, take the rest of these wires here and wrap everything up. All right, so I'm just going to mark this. This is a 2S 1666 milliamp. Okay, so just trim off the extra bits of plastic here from the protective coating. And we sure, we're sure we gonna take some packing tape and just wrap it around this battery pack so that it's nice and protected from any punctures. All I'm gonna do is just take a bit of packing tape here. There we go. Um, another question that um, people might have is how do you charge a pack that's got a servo lead like this? And, uh, let me just show you guys what I have real quick. So I use XT60s mainly for my airplanes and whatnot. So this is a charge lead that I made up out of a pin connector um, from like uh, the Ardu from the like Nase 32 board. So basically, I plug this into the charger. Then it's got these two little uh, prongs sticking out. And you're just gonna insert black to black, red to red, just like that, and then you're able to charge. Obviously, I have these exposed leads here, so I'm very very careful when I do this and you can still balance your battery pack like that. So anyway, <clears throat> guys, if you like this video, uh, hit that thumbs up and subscribe, and I will talk to you guys later. Thanks for joining me. Bye.